tonight that you are the God of miracles. That you are the everlasting one and you are the miracle working God. And our hope, our trust is in you tonight. Regardless of situations, regardless of, of problems, God, we, we say we love you, Jesus, and our hope, our trust is in you tonight, God. In spite of what we've seen, yes. let faith in our hearts, God, arise in the true the living God. In the one who is the root of David. Father, the one who fulfilled the prophecies. The one who is found worthy to open the scroll of God. Our hope and our trust is in you, Jesus. Jesus.
is looking us in the face, that which is standing against the might of our King, God, we're asking you. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God, lift up the standard against it. We're calling on the living word of life tonight. Our lily of the valley, God, and one who holds in the gap for us. You are our strength of courage tonight, God. To you belong, all strength of valor and might. It is yours and yours alone. Jesus. Father, we're, we're crying out to the living God. You are not a God who is dead. And you are not a piece of wood and stone, God. But we call out to the one who is the all-seeing, all-knowing one. The one who, who is listening even right now to the petitions and prayers of the saints. Father, we call out to the living word of life. Jesus. Jesus.
over your word, you before it. We know in whom we have believed and you are able. You are able, oh God. You are the one on whom we call. Oh, you are the one. You are the one who is born of the
season in this right now, God, the delivery coming from heaven. We say yes to that which God has right now for each one of us. In the name of Jesus, the victory belongs to the Lord. The victory belongs to the Lord. We say yes, God, and we, we align ourselves with heaven, with the workings of God, with what you're doing in our region and in our families and in our communities and that what you're doing around us, God. We say yes, and we align ourselves, God, and we ask you, that, Father, that we would have our place in, in the in the expanse and in the march of heaven, that we would each know our place and we would each march step and step with what you called us to do. So God, we ask you even right now, Father, that you would give direction to each heart in this place, that which is in turmoil, that which is in the unknowns of life. God, we ask you for direction and insight and revelation. And we receive it even tonight, that which we've been praying for and asking for, and we, we agree with each other, that which is according to the will of God, let it be done as we watch and we pray, Father, as we seek the face of God, and as we go forward, Father, we ask you, even right now, let the life of heaven invade this place inside of us, and we invite you, God, we invite you to be Lord of our lives. We invite you to be the master of us and to direct our steps and to guide our hearts in the path of righteousness, in our feet that are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, that they are led by the Lord. That our steps that even today and tonight they are led by the Lord. We commit our way unto the Lord and let him direct our paths. So God, we ask you that you would give us the fortitude to walk out that which is ahead of us. That you would give us the ability to persevere and to step through that time that you have for us and the doors that are open, Father, the windows of heaven that are opening and pouring out blessings upon us, that we would position ourselves in the timings of God to receive the outpourings of what you have for us as we have prepared ourselves, as we have proven ourselves faithful to you in the little, we ask you that the more would be expanded. And that the seasons of life around us, God, May the presence of God lead, guide, and direct on every level, God. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God.
than just those words. Those three words. Great are you, Lord. We can stay up tonight over our situations. Those things that people contacted us about in the last few days. Father, the prayer requests. Things that we have physically gone and prayed for. Things that we're going through. God, we declare. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Father, over the nerves of faith that have gone away, God, we declare great are you, Lord. Over Michael's body, God, we declare great are you, God. Father, over the workings of our ministries all over the world, God, we declare great are you, Lord.
are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are the one who heals. You are the one who brings freedom. You are the one who watches over your word to perform it. The promises of God, they are yes and they are amen. And we stand on the promises of God tonight. We stand on the faithfulness of God tonight. We stand on the firm foundation that does not move. It is not about religion. It is about the relation of the Holy One of Israel. Father, it is about knowing you and not a religion, not a facade, not a form. It's not about the day-to-day -day ritualistic things. God is about knowing you and fellowshipping with you, communing with you, abiding in you, dwelling in you. It is about the presence of God. And Father, we, we bask ourselves tonight in the glory of God. And then even in John 17, when Jesus talking to the Father about us receiving and walking in the same glory that he was walking in. Father, we desire to be and to do and to go as people of the living God. Abiding and dwelling in the presence of the habitation of heaven. Father, so we ask tonight that the scriptures would not just be scriptures and just some form of direction, God, that would be life to us. Even to the marrow of our bones, life. We believe, God, your word is life to our flesh. Your word is life to our spirit. Your word is life to our emotions. And we receive tonight life from God. We receive life. That which is coming from the throne of God, out of the rivers of life, God, we say, yes, let it flood upon us in a mighty manner. The rivers of living water, God, the rivers of refuge, God, the rivers of refreshing, Father, the, the, just the coolness of the rivers of life coming out of the throne of God. Let it come upon your people tonight in a mighty, mighty manner. The presence of God, we agree and say yes together. Let it be upon us, God. Let us be in the river of life. Jesus, let it be.
And as the scripture says, we so often quote, we say of the Lord, he is our refuge. He is our fortress. He is our shield. Because we have made the Lord, even the most high, our habitation. So, Father, we love you tonight. In every headache, every high blood pressure, every uh, blood sugar issue, every heartbeat, every rhythm of life. In the, in the flow of the blood and every disease associated with the blood and that which comes out of the marrow, that which comes out of the, the kidneys and the spleens and the livers and the hearts and all the functions of all the organs of the small and large intestines and all the other parts of the colons, God, the, the stomach, the issues of bladders, the issues of control, Father, of, Father, we speak life over bodies, we speak healing over, over men issues. We speak healing over women issues. God, we speak life over each other. And we do walk in divine health. We walk in the divineness of heaven because it's ours. It's right. It's the will of God. And we declare healing over ears, healing over eyesight, healing over, over fingernails and toenails and, and everything else over the over hair, Father, over, over, over even skin issues and blights. Father, we declare life, Father, that, that these moles and things that, that we have to get doctors to try to get cut off. Father, you are the doctor. And we believe, God, that you can cause things in the middle of the night to fall off. We wake up healed. We wake up restored. We wake up excited about the presence of God. We do with power from on high. We are celebrating the goodness of God. We are, we are those who are children of the Most High God. And we love you. We love your presence. We love the Shekinah of God. Father, we are just waiting to get to heaven to dwell in your presence. It's where we dwell right now. It's in us. It's with us and among us. And we are children of the Most High God. And we dwell inside the tabernacle. And we dwell in the presence of God. In the shadow of the Almighty. And we love you tonight. And we honor your name, Lord of glory. We, we the people of God. We dwell in the glory of God. And our, even our vehicles, our clothes, Father, the things that we own and possess, they are blessed and they don't wear out like everything else around us because we have made the Most High our habitation. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, tonight we welcome you again. Father, we, we celebrate what is inside of us. We celebrate the life of God. Those that have declared that Jesus is Lord over our lives. Those that have welcomed your presence. God, those of us that say yes to the Spirit of God, to the movings of God. Even though we don't always understand it, we say yes. If it's of God, we say yes. Hallelujah. And we declare no to our enemy. You cannot have us. You cannot have us a day, a minute, a second before God destined. You cannot have our spouse, our children. You cannot have our parents and our grandparents. Father, would you, your word is true and you keep sickness out of our midst. That even when the children of Israel came out of the wilderness, there was not one feeble. When they come out of Egypt, there was not one feeble one among them. So, Father, we declare your word over our lives tonight, over our homes that our marriages are strengthened and, and invigorated in the presence of God. And we watch over each other. We watch over our friends. And we watch over your word, God. And we contend for the faith. So, Spirit of God, lead us and we will follow. To the best of our abilities to be obedient to everything you have declared. So, give us the strength to walk it out in the fortitude. Help our mindsets adapt to what the Spirit of God is saying and doing now. Father, every one of us in this room, we desire to see a move of genuine move of God. And not what we saw back when. And not what we read about back when. But what you desire to do in the now, we desire to be a part of. As the song says, Father, when you desire to do something, if you can use anyone, use me. Use us for your glory. Use us for your kingdom. Father, may we walk through the corridors of heaven on that day and everyone know that we were used in the kingdom of God. And we did our portion and we did our part in the plan of God over this generation and this time and in this season. 
as we were obedient and we trusted God and we walked in obedience to the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. So, Father, we love you tonight and we love each other. We do. We love you and we love each other. Thank you, Lord. Because that is, that is the kingdom. Hallelujah. We put all of our differences aside and we love each other. And as the other song says, may you not leave this place the way you came. Amen. But may Jesus touch us, change us, transform us, and mold us into his image. So may the Lord himself bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine upon you and bring you peace. Yes, yes. May the El Shaddai Elohim, may the Adonai Elohim come idly upon you. May the majesty of God Declare his self over you this very night. As you sleep, may you sleep in peace. May you go forth in the presence of God and in the glory of heaven. The Lord of glory bless you and keep you. And may he cause his countenance to shine upon you and bring you peace. Be blessed by the Holy Ghost. Yes, me and follow me. Sultani Badoli Mwongo, Jesus is King, and the devil is still a liar. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.